to the white woman whose YouTube comment said she is tired of every other American porn being about race or rape. I'm not sure if compassion fatigue happens because no one taught you how not to be the oppressor or because no one taught you how not to be oppressed, but your comment reminds us that no one cares about us but us. You're right. There are no new topics. Just old problems written into new pleas to a country that refused to reckon with its own sickness. We Americans, land of the free, can only keep our motto if we keep our mouths closed. And isn't that what all rapists want? Control and a silenced victim? Do you realize that someone has stopped listening to this poem because I am first black and also a woman? Black, if I'm alive still. Woman, if I haven't disappeared yet, got anything anybody in the world might need except my voice, which means my body must be what's left for the taking. I'm not sure how we became treasures we can't afford to keep, but there are all kinds of women who have been raped, who hoped their warm body's heart would stop beating but still got up and went to work the next day. What we know is it's hard to comfort a girl that doesn't let on she's hurting. So praise every woman that speaks out against her rapist. Praise the ones who didn't but got their healing from the poems you are tired of hearing. How easy your life must be. That you can only be able to sit through the happy while we try and believe the only things we need to remember about suffering is that eventually it ends. Three times now on social media, I have personally watched a black person be murdered because the United States is still making us pay for the way we look or the guilt it feels, but a, a black person of color's only glory, hallelujah, is as long as we didn't die, then we didn't die. Do you realize that when our mothers say, I love you, she is also saying, stay alive, come back to me whole in one piece and not a hashtag or another dead nigga's death she'll have to watch on repeat us poets whose duty is to write about the times right because we don't know when we too will become extinct black ink from black poets who dare to write about all this black death instead of hiding behind everything we're thinking how privileged your life must be that you could be tired of hearing poems about race or rape while we write about an extinguished race and violated bodies that keep being raped. It's not hard to believe you're tired. But can you imagine how exhausted we the poets must be?